Good morning, modern starters. 16 degrees out right now, but it's supposed to warm up to 48 degrees. Are you gonna let them scare you away? Now you'll come down and put them all in the chicken coop. You're silly. I'm surprised you're scared of the chickens. You're supposed to herd them back in the greenhouse, man. One of the highlights of the morning is going and checking on Hope. And the swan, we need to let her out of her kennel. I locked her up in there last night because it was going to be another cold one. I know it's going to be a cold night. I'll lock her in there and I'll put a blanket over the kennel. That sun feels good. I think it's going to warm up fast this morning. Come on in, girls. Let's fix your hay. There we go. Spread that out. Is that good? Don't worry, Hope. We didn't forget about you. Wanted to make sure you stayed warm last night. There you go. Hopefully, it's the last night we gotta do that, Hope. Are you excited to be out? Out and about? You need some breakfast? Let <laughs> me get you down for a minute. Get that up. You want some hay? You can come out and about while I get everybody's stuff ready for the day. You want some champagne? Want some champagne? Oh. You're crazy. You got a good jump. You got a good jump. Yes, you do. I'm gonna run around, jump, and then you go. Good jump on you. You gonna jump down? Need some seaweed in your diet. You girls want in? Give me some fresh hay. There you go. Maybe the sap in our maple trees will stop flowing today. And maybe tomorrow we'll be able to make some maple syrup. Oh, that'd be kind of nice. You ready to go check on the chickens in New York City, Pluto? Moose, you're quiet. I don't like when you're that quiet. I'm not liking that this coop's so quiet. Normally it's noisy over here by now. Whew, you girls have me scared. Moose, where are you? Why are you so quiet, huh? Man, you guys are so quiet this morning. I don't like it. There's a lot of predator pressure this time of the year with like bears and everything waking up from hibernation with being all snow covered still. It's not a lot of easy food for them. 
I, whew, my heart sank for a minute, guys. I didn't know how they would have gotten in, but the coop was way too quiet. Oh, you girls had me scared. He's still super quiet. How come? <laughs> Getting off some eggs for us. Thank you. Look at that. Four eggs. <sighs> nope, no jailbreaks today, guys. Go ahead, get back in. No jailbreaks. Soon, soon, I tell you. The fence has to finish getting dethawed out. And then we can let them out. With all the hungry critters that are waking up this time of the year, I don't dare let them out. Well, at least having the fence standing upright. If it's not on, I don't mind as long as I'm home during the day. But no fence at all. No. Come on, Pluto. I'm sure, just like me, they've had enough of winter. Today, we're gonna combat winter a little bit. <laughs> Let's start on that now. right there right where we need it to go if you're new to the channel this might look weird being a burn pile right out here in the middle of the snow this area that the sled just came down in to the left of it I cleared up with an excavator last fall and over here to this side we had logs when I cleaned up with an excavator we had a lot of debris and I was able to burn most of the piles this is the last one Luckily, since there's still snow on the ground, we don't need any permits. We can just burn whenever we want to. Once the snow is gone, we can only burn in the rain. So, let's get this cleaned up while we still have snow left. It lights nice and easy. Let's see if it gets the fire going. It's burning nice. We'll see what happens. I think once we get the fire going, it'll be good, but it might be a two day fire between we get all of it thawed out and burnt. Oh guys, I think we found the source of our spring. Yep, we got running water. I would say this is gonna be the area the spring is in. Pluto might have found another spring. Yeah, it's another possible spring. The ground's even defrosted. Look, I can go down nicely. So yeah, definitely a spring in this area. Pluto, don't take off. I'm gonna mark this one right by the rock. This is the area where it's the least frozen and the most amount of standing water. That is, I think this area. So I'm marked right by this rock. I would have never guessed that there was a spring over here. I knew there was one over this area. Hey, Fig. But I would have thought it was gonna be lower. What are you girls up to? If you were being nicer, I'd let Hope out with you right now. I hear you, Hope. I hear you. Oh, 
Well, we're melting some ice pretty good. See if we can spread the fire over this way some. Since it's so nice out, I'm gonna lock these girls out of the barn and give Hope more of an area in here. Put this out here. All right, Hope, you want to come out and play for a little while? You'll have the run of the whole barn. How does that sound? Does that sound good? There you go, you get to run and play. You get to run and play. Yeah, what do you think? When it falls on you, the blood runs cold. Don't you sweat the pretty skin. What do you think? Cause it melts away for it sinks here. And you dream about this. You have free choice minerals all you want. Or all you need, I should say. You like the salt what rock? When the seamless child stop to say. Hand her from the sky on the bow. Alright, I'll take a phone call. You'll be good. You'll be good. The other go, it's not liking that you're in here and they're out there. When Libby's gets home, we'll go outside. You guys stay in here for now. Do you ever feel like going back? Nothing seen. Cooked up a whole chicken yesterday in preparation for tonight's mail. I wanted to be able to make a chicken and barley soup with leftover chicken and a homemade bone broth. So for starters, I got my onion, two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put some oil in our pan so we can saute up the onion and garlic. I put the Instant Pot on saute mode. Let that warm up. Jimmy. Tom. Tom. 
Johnny. Johnny. Bobby. Bobby. And Joey. And Joey. So they're gonna be like, no, don't peel me. No. I just found some frozen string beans from our garden last summer. Stick those right in. You ready to go let Hope out in the barnyard with the other girls? It's pretty warm out. Yeah, that wind is chilly. Ew, now we got mud. You like that mud? It's all slush. Willow. Yeah, what do you think of the mud, Hope? I like it. What do you think of the mud? Oh, there's <laughs> Yeah, what do you think? You gonna check out Goat Mountain? Yeah. You got him? Good job. Hope you're loving it. You're just checking it all out, huh? Where'd the girls go? No, oh, she's using the hay feeder, Livies. Oh. Is she in it? Three quarters of the way. Oh, oh. Uh, you darn little goat. What are you doing in there, Hope? Huh? There you go. Come on out, Willow. Willow! What are you doing, Hope? Oh, are you girls being good? Cool beans. What are you doing? You gotta play with the other goats. And the other goats gotta play with you. Come on, girls. <laughs> you gotta watch a buttercup. She's being a bonehead. Well, there's places for her to hide under. She can get in the hay feeder liveries or she can hide under it. That's good to know. You two are gonna be best buds. Keep an eye on her. She okay? Buttercup bit her ear pretty good. Get stopped by like all this hay.
boy, for some reason, they sure do like to bite onto her ear and not let go. You like being out in the fresh air? Yeah. Hopefully soon, you'll be able to be out full time with the girls. Yeah, hopefully soon. It's flowing good. Yeah. Okay, hope you stay in here. I think that was a good session of out in the barnyard. We'll be back later on. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll be able to stand this fence up all the way probably tomorrow. Pluto, don't take off. Thank you. Oh. I think once we can straighten out this part of the fence, we'll be good. And then the chickens can come back out. Probably tomorrow or the next day. Sweet! Come on, Pluto! Man, there's a little bit of sap, but not much. That just surprises me, guys. I'm hoping we'll have enough sap so we can do some boiling tomorrow. We haven't made any maple syrup this year. I can't believe it. I know people who have already made gallons off of their homestead sapping. Come on, let's go. It just depends on your property's location this year. You ready, mud pie girl? Oh, gross. I hear it. It's like muddy, but it's also like water. Looks like soup. Yeah. You can make a mud pie. The pile didn't burn as good as I was hoping. All the outer edges are frozen pretty good. But we got some of it down today. What is that, Tanner? Huh? What is that noise? Is that scary? We melted quite a bit. We don't have like, really any ice. And then we let Hope out into the barnyard with the girls today for a oh, okay. 20 minutes, half hour. Hello, Hope. I can't see you. There you are. It's muddy. Muddy, muddy. Oh, almost lost my boot. Followed me in. She followed you. Hi. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. They won't hurt you. I won't let them hurt you. They know better. Do you want the door shut? No, let's go out. Come on, Hope! Well, you should pick it up past that mud. Don't you know how you go on Cove Mountain? Whoa, look at you! Needs to be cleaned. Are you on Cove Mountain? You gonna be good buds? You good buds? 
She don't care about snow. She don't doesn't bother her one bit. Sit cold on your feet. Oh man, what the heck are you doing peeing on me? <laughs> I'm just trying to clean it off. You <laughs> peed all almost got me. <laughs> she almost got she you. She almost got me. She didn't get the camera, did she? No. No, it's not totally frozen on it. You guys are like kids. Literally. <laughs> oh, and did you find the hay? Yep, she can get in the hay feeder, she can go under the hay feeder. Say I, I eat in lots. Get no. I think the barnyard sessions with Hope being out with the other goats is going pretty well. They're mean to her, over but us. not too bad. I think probably another week or so we'll be able to let her out full time with the other goats. By then the weather should be a lot warmer, so we should be able to take her sweater off. And I think all the goats should be pretty well accustomed to each other. So Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and thanks a lot for coming along on our journey with us. You are a true blessing to our homestead. Don't let your failures define you. Remember, life is a classroom. Every failure is just another opportunity to learn and to grow and to do it better next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.